Hey guys, it's Vera Wild, um, and today I'm going to talk a little bit more about courses, which is a subject I keep coming back to over and over. It always seems like there's something more for me to add. Um, what I'm going to talk about this time is basically boning. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and say that without giggling. So th there's different kinds of boning. And what the boning is, is boning are the strips inside of the corset um, that are actually gonna hold you in place. Because there's the lacing, which it, it is exactly what it sounds like, which you pull tight. And then the boning is what is inside to actually you know, suck everything in uh, and keep it in place. Now, the reason boning matters, <laughs> I'll stop giggling, I promise. The reason that boning matters is because the wrong kind of boning basically doesn't get the job done. Um, and really what you want is flat steel boning. Now some of this I knew, and but part of the reason I'm making this video is because um, I, I made a slight mistake uh, recently with a corset buy. I, well, actually I made two mistakes. I'll talk about both because why not? I'll, I'll let you know my mistakes so you don't make them. Um, plastic boning, you want to avoid all together. Now, don't assume that just because a corset, and I buy my corsets online, I assume most of you probably do too, um, but just because the description of a corset does not explicitly say plastic, don't assume that doesn't mean it, has, it doesn't have plastic boning. Always assume plastic boning unless it specifically says steel boning. The reason you don't want plastic is because it just doesn't hold everything in. It can still do a little bit of work, but it's, it, it you know, give you a little bit of a curve, but it's not going to cinch it all in the way that steel boning does. Um, and exactly how drastic that difference is, when I did my Wonder Woman cosplay, um, I had ordered a corset and I for some reason, I just blanked on double checking what the material, uh, the boning was. And the corset that I had when I was actually at VT Comic Con was plastic boning. Now, it, it did well enough that the outfit still looked nice. I was happy to show it off. But when I actually did my Wonder Woman performance number um, a few weeks later at Vermont Pride and then at the Green Mountain Cabaret, I had steel boning in on that. It was a notably better cinch. I had a much better hourglass figure. Um, so because it will actually pull everything in. The steel has the strength to do that. The plastic doesn't. Now, just getting steel boned is not enough. You have to be very, very careful of the wording. And I'll show you the corset that I got where I found this out. So this, this was a corset that I had had my eye on for a while. I had sort of this steampunky kind of look. It's got these, um, these sort of hinges in the front, which makes it much easier to take off, like as a performance piece. Um, it's got, you know, these bits on the side. I would love the design of this. No complaints about that. And it was sold on Amazon with the description, Steel Boned, which is technically accurate, um, but I have now learned the difference between spiral steel and flat steel. Um, without actually cutting this open to show you the difference, spiral steel basically is just, it's this thing, it's, it's, it's not as strong. It is still technically steel, but it's only gonna do the job slightly better than plastic. Now, a quick way to see if it says steel boning, but doesn't specify flat or spiral, something to watch for. Is there a part of the description that gets oddly over insistent about the fact that it's steel boning. Because I noticed in this one, after I got it, it says, this is genuine steel boning. You can hold a magnet to it to see that it'll stay, to test it. If it was flat steel, which would just do the job, they wouldn't have to tell you how to test it because you wouldn't doubt it, so that you'd have to test it at all. Spiral steel, they'll tell you in the description, oh, test it so you know it's real steel. Why do they want you to test it? Because it's not gonna do the job as well as you think steel boning should do. So that's, that's the other thing. So just saying steel boning is not enough. What you want 
is flat steel boning. And that is what it sounds like. It's actually the same shape as the plastic. It's these sort of flat bars, but those will have the bend and the hold to actually cinch you in properly and get the job done the way you actually want it to be. So, you know, that's, that's sort of the quick rundown of the lessons that I learned. I always knew about plastic boning. I might have even talked um, a little bit about it in previous corset videos, um, but spiral steel boning, that was new to me. And now that I have found that out and learned from my mistake, I wanted to share with you guys so that you will not make the same error that I did and end up with something that is technically steel boned but is not going to do the job that you would expect it to do. So um, I guess consider this sort of a, um, a cautionary thing. I, I don't know what, what I'll call this, a corset addendum. Um, but that's just some quick notes on the different kinds of bone... <sighs> I'm an adult, I swear to God. The different kinds of boning that you can get, the best kind of boning that you can get, and the kind of boning that you don't want. So stick to the best boning. You know it's what you need. So with that out of my system, I'm going to um, put a wrap on this video. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Please take a, a minute to take a look at my Patreon. I'll put a link down below. There'll be some links at the end of this. Um, please consider lending your support to me. I really do appreciate those uh, who have already done so. Um, um, and until next time, guys.